What's wrong with them, eh? What's wrong with these Americans? One night they're desperate to leave, the next night you can't get rid of them. One day they hate the fighting, the next day they have to have all five courses. When you break your back to give them the ghosts you thought they wanted, they scream at you, and when you throw the towel in, they scream even louder. They see spooks everywhere. Spooks in the bathroom, spooks under the bed. Oh, they know when the joke is over. Oh, they tell them nothing. What is going on here? Amen, why are chunks of masonry floating about? Her half sister. Not to mention. Oh, no. 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 Your daddy. But he's dead! I know. He looks terrible angry, too. And I have a perfect right to be, considering what you have done to our ancestral home. Full out! think you could get away from me? Leave me alone, you're dead. Not so dead, I can't see what a numbskull you are. Oh, fine. Call me names. That's so easy. Well, for God's sake, look at you. What did you have to give me this place for? You knew I wasn't incompetent. All I wanted to be was happily useless. You made me miserably useless giving me this place. Fast to run. Bills to be paid. And then dying on me just like that. Most people give some warning, you know. Premature senility, angina, gout, bedridden for years, but not you. Oh, no, no, no. Healthy as an old goat, you pop off one day in the orchard. And what then? Not a goddamned word, not a whisper. Did it never occur to you that I might need some advice? I might miss you. Oh, Peter, I, I never thought it was true, you old ghost. I missed your daddy. Oh, give your daddy a hug. Sorry, Peter. 